the Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know about saving money on your taxes in a recession. Uh, with, this is a Consumer Report edition of The Wellness Hour, and my first guest, uh, everyone knows, Stan Morose. He is the founder of the Stan Morose Company, the desert's leader in tax and accounting services. Thank you, Randy. Stan, um, welcome to pleasure, the program. pleasure to be here. Thank you uh, for inviting me. Always an interesting yes. guest. Uh, we've yeah. had you on the program. A lot has changed, though. For people that oh, don't know you, you know, you really have, have owned the desert when it comes to accounting. Yes, that's right. We've uh, doubled our uh, practice. Uh, more than doubled, by the way. You're more. at least eight times bigger than when I met you. Exactly, yes. About eight years ago, is that right? Yeah, and, and we're keeping up on all the uh, new tax laws and uh, accounting issues uh, for that small business You do business a lot person. of different things. I mean, you'll, you'll handle a small person, one person's taxes. That's correct. A small to medium business. A lot, or, of my, a lot of my... Or the large business, like yourself. Okay, yeah. We have like 14 you're, employees you've, now you've, full you've time. Started out, you've started out, I remember... I was just one. Uh, you were just one person. I had one person. We, you started out at the same time, and you've grown into this huge uh, production company that yeah. with many employees. Thanks to you. And I mean, you've, you've we done a lot. You incorporated us, got our right. 401k, our health insurance. Yeah. I mean, you put it all together for us, I should we, say. But am I your typical person? Yes, you are. Businesses that are growing? Yeah, businesses that are growing. And you have peace of mind because you don't have to worry about... <laughs> I sleep at night because... You me. sleep at... That's right. You sleep better at I night. don't worry about it, frankly. Well, you sleep better. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. You sleep better because you know we're taking care of you. We're on top of those new tax issues. We're making sure your accounting and bookkeeping is accurate and timely. We're feeding you information on a constant basis so you know where you're at at all times and when you say well how can I save on taxes what can I do yeah. uh, you know 401k uh, what should I uh, invest in we put you in the right products That's or with right. the right people yeah to help you attain those uh, those goals you have and you a lot of my clients you know some of the biggest names some I probably can't mention uh, but uh, or I don't know if I can, well, I can or not. You know, like you know. Dr. Mo Zachary, plastic right. surgeon. But that's a big exactly. place. Yeah, uh, you, you handle them. I know several yeah. other doctors and and well-known construction. People. Yeah, well-known people. You have some people. famous people that, that uh, go yes. to you, but you yes. have just regular uh, folks. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. The the uh, indiv individual tax uh, person who wants to make sure that they're getting uh, all uh, the deductions they're entitled to. In a uh, recession, that's more important than ever. Well, of course, because you know every dollar counts in a recession, and every tax deduction counts, and they want to know ahead of time, not after the year is over when they could have taken advantage of something. We produce a newsletter that goes out once a month, and we try yeah. to alert our clients to upcoming things. I receive it. Things. Do I receive? I think I receive. You receive it. that. Yeah. Some very boring stuff in there, though. Well, it's boring for you. It's exciting to us. Okay. We like what we're doing. You we, think people read that newsletter, though? I mean, it has good look, stuff in there, right? We're there, exactly, yes. You know, uh, all the latest uh, information. You called me one time. You were very excited about the newsletter. Randy, did you read it? Uh, yes, that's I said, right. I Stan, you've got to be kidding me. Well, that's because you're not concerned about but it. But there are some people that like that. Like They want to know that we're on top of things, and they want to see us tell them, not somebody else tell them, Oh, uh, we heard about this uh, deduction. Why didn't you tell me? Okay. We want to be telling them first, so they know that we're on top of our job, and that we're looking out for their interest. Are there a lot of people that have outgrown their current bookkeeper, accountant, CPA, just because they're getting bigger? Absolutely. Or outgrown themselves? Outgrown. They're handling it right. themselves. Well, they're going from a, a very small uh, sole practitioner, and they're looking for that next step. How do they? What type of entity do they operate in? How do they uh, deal with the employee issues and uh, uh, credit issues, reporting issues, internal control? Because the the uh, the biggest asset they have is their, the cash that they receive for their services. They want to know that's protected. They want to know they're getting all the up-to-date tax uh, uh, advantages they can ahead of time, not. A year later. So you say business owners, and this is a very, uh, you know, great point you made that that business owners uh, need to do what they do best, which is attracting new clients, expanding their clients, not 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 looking at their accounting. 
not dealing with having, uh, not having to worry about what the you know discovering what the new tax laws are. They want to be that told way. that. Of course you think that way. We're I mean, the premier bias, tax and accounting service in the desert. Okay. We pride ourselves on keep, keeping up to date with all the new tax developments. Are you at the Keeping top of your game? Top. Are you at the top? I mean, do you feel yes, like, top of the game. And your company has grown. I mean, we've so got you certain people that handle what taxes. Certain people who handle just accounting, and some of us who handle everything, okay. uh, down to helping uh, the small businessman uh, with consulting on other issues. Do you help people with QuickBooks as well? Absolutely. Like setting That's them the, up in their that, house. That is the uh, most used uh, bookkeeping program out there. The friendliest uh, program that everybody uses. And we have two, two QuickBooks Pro advisors, myself and uh, my accounting manager, Jenna Splane. More and more people in the desert are switching over to you. Yes. Small businesses, individuals. Right. But, uh, but, but isn't it, I mean, couldn't somebody say, okay, you go to a big firm like the Stan Rose Company, it's more expensive than the guy in the corner, the bookkeeper, et cetera. You know, I am very competitive with all the CPA firms out there. You're all about the same. Uh, all the same. You know, some of us will, uh, charge a little more, some of us charge a little uh, less. I'm about in the center of all these people. Who would you like to see more of, by the way? I mean, who is really, in, in your opinion, paying too much taxes that needs to give you guys a call? Well, of course, the small business uh, individual has a lot of options and, uh, and an ability to... Uh, to take advantage of a lot of deductions. But That's isn't not that pretty simple, though. I mean, as a business person, I mean, you have your expenses; those are write-offs. Correct. I mean, I mean, are there really small well, there, things that people could miss? You know, uh, for instance, uh, should a business, what type of entity should the business operate in, okay. in and how uh, does that benefit? Like an them? LLC or an LLC, S -corp or a C -corp. corporation, sole proprietorship, no. and what are the benefits? Uh, what am I, by the way? You're an S corporation. S corp. S corporation. Okay. And that's which, best for which, me. Which does wonders for you. It's it's does a good, wonders for me. It's a it's a good uh, it's a good entity for your for All your right. business. All right. Okay. Moving on to today's topic. Let's, okay. Let's, let's talk a little bit about some of the new tax developments. Okay. That uh, people uh, need to know yes, about. And I brought some notes with me, All right. so I don't forget anything. You don't want to forget anything. I don't want to forget anything. Okay. And there are a lot of new developments. Not only are they exciting. You always say it's oh, exciting. Oh, they are. Okay. These are great. You know. Uh, er, uh, every year they come out with uh, with all kinds of tax changes and it's difficult for the uh, average small business person or individual to keep on top of them all. Uh, for instance, a small business uh, uh, person in 2008, they're allowed a 50% depreciation, bonus depreciation over and above the, uh, the uh, full expensing method, which is increased also. People don't know that? I mean, I don't know it. A lot obviously. of them don't know that. But you know what the new administration, you know, right, right. the buzzword is change. Change, that's and, right. And when we talked this morning, correct, uh, you said and, uh, change, right? For, you got to change. change. For progress to happen in the small business, they have to change. Okay. They have to move from their, their, their uh, uh, small uh, tax professional up to a, a larger firm like ours. And it doesn't cost you more to do it. It doesn't cost any more. As a matter of fact, the benefits are greater. Okay. Uh, okay. Because they know that they're getting all the uh, tax advice that they need, they know that they're operating in the correct. Uh, now, it's not easy. Is this true? I mean, they, correct me if I'm wrong. Now, it is not easy to get a job with the Stan Morose Company. No, you put that, them through that's some correct. rigorous tests. That's correct. Testing. We, I kid you about those tests. You. Uh, that's that's absolutely true. Personality tests. Intelligence tests. Okay. Not only uh, you know to test them uh, in the knowledge of whatever we're you know either accounting or taxes or bookkeeping, but we need to we want to make sure that every person fits within the firm and that uh, that we're a friendly firm. We love to have our clients come by. We love to have them ask questions. We want them to be concerned and aware of a things. A big portion of your clientele is people that are switching from an, uh, a situation that they're not happy with. Do you ever see things on their, their last up. year, the year before? Do you ever see it and say, oh my goodness? Moving up, constantly. I mean, where they made mistakes. Yes, they've made really? mistakes, made, make mistakes, missed opportunities. Okay, now you have a list of things. What else? Because, okay. because we're going to have to go to a break, but let's... Okay. let's well, you know, for the, uh, for the uh, we have a lot of retired individuals in uh, our community who may have paid off their, uh, their mortgages, and so they're, obviously, they, they can only take a standard deduction. Well, there's a new standard deduction for those individuals, uh, and it's a $500 deduction for real estate 
tax, even though they're, uh, you know, maybe renting. Yeah. They get a, a, a five hundred to a thousand dollar. Most uh, people miss that. Non-residential uh, tax, uh, solar tax credits, okay. uh, is another excellent. So businesses who have uh, s installed solar have uh, the opportunity. Are these new things? Are these brand new? Uh, they're extensions. Some of them are extensions. Some of them are brand new. So uh, in a recession, yes, you want to free up small business owners, so they can hand their accounting over to you. And right? taxes. Is that, that's I, correct. That's fair to say. And taxes. And taxes. Like be their back office almost. That's or correct. Or front office. That's correct. Yeah. And so that way they can work on their business again. They can focus strictly on how they make money the best. Does that happen, by the way? Are more and more people kind of saying, okay, Stan, yeah, handle everything? Absolutely. Yes. Really? We have, well, you're a great example. Yeah. Again, you know, uh, when we have other businesses who are, are bringing in all their uh, their uh, back office stuff. Just let Stan handle everything. You know, we're in a recession. Okay. Yeah. You know, and the first thing that tends to be cut are employees. Yeah. And so, you know, and that, uh, that in-house bookkeeper might be costing, you know, uh, too much on top of the fact that they're not, uh, uh, may not be highly trained. Okay. So in-house bookkeepers take, are not going to like this, by the way. Well, you know, some of them are fabulous. Now we if they have, call we me, have, I never trusted we that have, from the second I met. Right. We have some wonderfully trained and uh, okay. excellent. Uh, uh, so look at bookkeepers. Or at least get an who opinion. Work second for, opinion for our clients. Remember, we are the experts in tax and accounting. Leave it to the experts. We, uh, all of our people are trained. Yeah. They go to continuing education. So we're on top of things at all times. Is it times. just the fear of it costs too much? Why well, I think, I, I think that's true. You know, it, really? Yeah, you, you know, you're going from uh, uh, a small uh, tax uh, practitioner to a CPA firm. Yes, I think there's concern about the cost. But we, you need to look and say, are the benefits worth the cost? You have peace of mind. Uh, you're getting all your tax deductions. You know it's it's done accurately. You don't want to be audited. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. We we'll come okay. back, and uh, and I want some more uh, more more tax advice. Okay. Saving money on your taxes in a recession. Okay. Great. You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today is the Consumer Report edition. We'll be right back. Tried all sorts of cover-ups for bad breath? Try the science of Breathorex. Only Breathorex has Zytex. It attacks the cause of bad breath, keeps working for hours. It's clinically proven for real fresh breath. Get non-prescription Breathorex from your dental hygienist and now at fine stores everywhere. Designs for Health is the nutritional supplement brand of choice, exclusively recommended by healthcare professionals. As a physician, I insist on the science-first approach of Designs for Health. They have synergistic formulations with optimum quantities of therapeutic nutrients. Designs for Health, the leader in professional brand nutritional supplements. There's a new secret to looking younger. An advancement so profound, it took a team of scientists years to create. A time machine called Zoom. Getting Zoomed is the fastest way to erase years from your looks. Zoom is the most advanced teeth whitening ever. Only your dentist has it. Nothing works like it. Zoom gel gently penetrates the submicron pores of tooth enamel. The patented Zoom light super activates the gel through a unique photofenton reaction breaking down the stain's double bonds. In just 45 minutes, years of discoloration disappear, transforming your smile to wow. To find a Zoom dentist near you, go to zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895. For your whitest, most confident, most irresistible smile, get Zoomed today. Make your appointment at zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895 today and discover the wow of Zoom. You are watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. This is a Consumer Report edition. We are here with the <coughs> leader, the desert's leader in tax and accounting services with the Stan Moroz Company. Stan Moroz. Okay, Stan. Thank uh, you. Now, uh, what else? What else, what else is new? Okay. What else do we need to know? Do you know what a 1031 exchange is? That's an exchange bit, of like-kind property, which yeah. in, uh, in real estate, you're exchanging, what, what you're doing is you want to defer the gain on the sale of, say, a piece of real estate okay. that's used for business or investment purposes, not your personal residence. Right. Uh, 
Well, Congress has uh, told the IRS that their scrutiny over the 10 use of 1031 exchanges has been poor. They want them to step up. So scrutiny meaning there's more audits? They're going to be looking at more 1031 exchanges because they're concerned about certain issues, related party transactions. So people are doing it wrong. They're, they're getting deductions that they shouldn't be getting. That's right. Where they're deferring taxes on gains. Uh, they either don't report the gain that is taxable from the 1031 exchange or they're, uh, they're going through related parties which change the uh, structure of the 1031 and make it in ineligible. Okay. Uh, Who's doing this wrong? The individual or even some of the tax preparers out there? Uh, you know. Both? Uh, both could be, you know. Okay. Uh, it could be the uh, small tax uh, advisor. I don't know. You know, you really have to be on top of the 1031 exchange rules. These are important. Uh, and You're on top of them. We're on, well, we have to study these all the time. So we have to know the rules. We have to know the calculations. We have a four-part Excel calculation uh, that office. we review for every 1031 exchange. And people are doing multiple properties. Okay. So it gets very confusing and intricate. The other issue is yeah. uh, with real estate professionals. You know that uh, uh, in the tax code, uh, if you own a rental, and you're not a real estate professional, then uh, if, you're, and if your income doesn't go above $110,000 uh, just gross income, yeah. you can take up to uh, $25,000 of rental losses uh, for that activity or multiple activities. Okay. Now, but real estate professionals... So they don't know this? Oh, they know that. They know this, okay. But a real estate professional is able to, a qualified real estate, according to the tax code, is able to take more than $25,000 because of the fact that they are a listed real estate professional in the tax code. Okay. Now, the issue is that the uh, that many realtors, yeah. not real estate brokers or uh, land developers in the, the, in the list, th the agent, uh, are sometimes using this uh, real estate professional designation to take more losses. And you say they're going to get audited. The IRS is looking at it because they're saying they may not qualify under the one uh, the list of okay. qualified real estate professionals. The typical client that makes a change over to you, yeah, okay, you know, the, uh, and this is true that that, that that it's like the dentist. The dentist will tell me they come on the show and they say that people sometimes will you know the dentist that they go to they go to for the rest of their lives. Right. Same thing with accounting. Also, That's people correct. don't like going to the dentist and they don't like to go into the accountant. That's right. So, yes, but but is true. it true that people? Whoever's doing their accounting, if they have a bookkeeper, that's usually who does it. Is that true? I mean, do you find a lot of that where they stay? And when should they change if they're going to change? And how do they know when to change? Well, they don't. That's the issue. And but get a second you know, opinion. Uh, they get a second opinion. You know, uh, I've told you before in past interviews that I like to be known as the number two accountant in the, in uh, the desert, right? Even though I'm the leader, because I want to be that second person when you when you are dissatisfied with your current tax preparer by the lack of communication or not tell, keeping though, you up to date. They, well, mean, they, they're doing a good job or not. It really can, is. That's true. Because you, we but, don't know what they do. We don't know what you do. Right, but they can always come in and get a second opinion. But when you do know that there's an issue, that's when you make the change. It's very comfortable, though, to change. It's kind of like changing financial advisors, changing anything. It's difficult. So they go in for a, you, you go in for a consultation. You come in, you sit down, and, and you, we see. And you can see if they're doing a good job. Right. And we can see, you know, we can talk about their issues. Sometimes it's a lack of communication. Really? The accountant's too busy or uh, Well, your doesn't office is available. I will say that. Yes. Any you call, you email. Within, you even call on the weekend sometimes. Within, we try to get back to our clients within 24 hours of their question, unless it's urgent. If it's an urgent issue, then we try to get back within uh, an hour or two or that day. Okay. We want to be available for our clients. We want to be there for them to help them make a good decision, whether it's a specific tax issue or something relating to their business, or should they buy or lease, uh, what the, what's the new tax benefits for uh, you know, uh, purchases or solar credit, any of these issues. They want to know that they can talk to somebody and get an answer. Do you, you, I think I asked you this earlier, but I, I, I'm not clear. Do you still meet one-on-one -on -one with every new, new client? Absolutely. At least, okay, good. Absolutely. And, for those, those individuals who want to come in 
every year, sit down and talk. And we have, we have a, a, a huge different type of client. We have the client who comes in and says, there it is. Yeah. Take care of it. Like me. That's, is that your favorite kind? Take, take care of it. Uh, you know what? Uh, we care as much about that person as the person who says, I want to look at everything that I gave you and I want to review the return. Do they do that? They do that. I have engineers who want to, uh, they take the return back. I have an engineer out of Texas who, okay. who takes the return, he says don't file it, takes the return and spends a week looking at every yeah. line item wow. and then usually comes back with about six or seven questions which I answer all correctly to wow. his, uh, you know, uh, t so he knows that, hey, we, we took care of everything and sometimes they think, well, it should be here and we put it over it in a different line item. But they go through every, every line item and that's some okay. Some people don't care. Some people well, just they go, put it in good hands. Where, where do I sign? You know, yeah. they just want to know that it's taken care of. They want to have peace of mind and say, is everything okay? Yes. A lot of mistakes being made then in tax preparation, in accounting, in business accounting. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why you Do have you to cringe sometimes when you see this? They come across your desk and you just say, I can't believe it. They missed that. Well, you, Is that ever you, happened? Yes. And you, you try not to uh, you rub know, it in their face. Rub it in, or, you know, yeah. you try not to, you know, you just say, well, here's some things that you could have taken advantage of uh, had you thought about them. You know, so you don't want to say, well, that person, uh, this other person, uh, yeah. tax preparer didn't do an adequate job or didn't advise you on this issue, uh, you really have to just say, have you ever considered this this issue or this issue or you, you, okay. you don't have, I don't see this deduction and I'm kind of wondering why it's not there uh, or, you know, where's the depreciation schedules, uh, you know, are they taking, you know, all the correct depreciation methods because you don't want to be uh, taking the wrong method. For instance, you know that uh, uh, vehicles and light trucks have limits on the, on their uh, allowed uh, depreciation deduction. I where uh, that's that's true, and okay. uh, we have some new. Are you sure that's true? We have, no, I'm kidding. We have <laughs> new deductions this year. We have you know for you like this stuff, don't you, Stan? I mean, we're uh, running out of time. That's right. And I'm trying not to cut you off. But, I understand. But, but I like the fact that you are a detail guy. You're a perfectionist yeah. in many ways. Yes. And, uh, Sometimes to my detriment. <laughs> you like this, though. I mean, you really like it. Yeah. So it makes you that much more of a... I mean, look for an accountant, a CPA, Who's, that loves it. Right. Because they won't miss things. Well, Is and, that possible? And, There's got to be true to that. Well, you know, there's always uh, a possibility you could miss something. Yeah. You know, but we, we, uh, we have a return process where uh, we have two checks. The person, uh, actually three, the person who prepares a return uh, takes the data and the, uh, the diagnostics, look at, looks at the return and say, did I cover everything? All right. Then it goes to a review process. We have a second person who specifically looks at the information that was presented by the, uh, the client and goes through the return and cross-checks to make sure everything was presented in the return. Then it comes to my office. Nothing goes out of my office without me looking at it. And that's okay. the truth. Okay. You know, because I did give it a technical look over. Right. I know All that right. the the second reviewer has. Do you ever find stuff? Well, absolutely. You know, uh, we're not perfect. Okay. You know, we want to be we want to be the best, and we don't want to uh, make any errors. And we and I've got 34 years of tax experience, so I I know what a tax return looks for, looks like, or should okay. look like. Okay. You know, look. You know, if you've outgrown your current tax preparer, yeah, and your your business is growing, and you need to step up to the next level, we want you to come to us. Good. So we can Good give you, you the proper advice and help you. Uh, with I've, your had, taxes I've had and people, accounting. by the way, one in right. particular, uh, and, and I won't mention his name. Very large business, and I didn't know that he called you. Yes. And he says, "I met with Stan Morose. This guy's great." Thank you. So a lot of people like you. I mean, you're you're turning into a very uh, you know big name in the desert, or not turning into. I mean, you are. In fact, we are. I was at the Daily Grill. I was having their you know that Cobb salad, best Cobb yeah, salad in yeah. the desert, and uh, I was talking to this guy who's an independent contractor. I said, you know, you should incorporate. And he goes, who do you think you are, Stamaros? 
<laughs> so, so that was very funny. I thought, I, you know, I have to tell you. He about must that. be watching my show a lot. He's watching you your know? show. Are there some people that watch that tell oh, you that they watch a, your absolutely. interview? Absolutely. You know, we go back to. I know you make fun of me because yeah. I, I bowl. I don't golf. I bowl. I constantly hear uh, some of the people I bowl with say, "I saw you on TV." I didn't know you did that. Last week, I had uh, uh, two individuals, married a couple. They both have uh, small businesses, and uh, they were they had outgrown their current tax preparer. And on top of the fact that uh, that tax preparer was, uh, you know, uh, 30, 40 miles out of town. Wow. So they came. We sat down, and we told we showed them how we could save them taxes. Did you get recognized by the way around town? Um, I'm at the bowling alley, they're bowling and they're looking at you, the, and then they get a gutter ball. At the bowling alley, they know me, so okay. they, they uh, you know, they, they say, oh yeah, I saw you on TV. Do people ask you for tax advice? Right. I mean, do they, they? Yes. On El Paseo, they said, hey, Stan, I got to ask you a question. Yeah. I occasionally get that. Sometimes they, they, uh, you know, they apologize. So I really don't want to ask, take your time up after hours. But I say, you know what? I'm here to uh, to answer your question. So what is it? You know, I, I I'm here to help. All right. You know? Well, so, good for you. You like what you do. You think this is what I, you were meant to do? I love what I do. I love taxes and accounting. I love people. I love helping them. Even your daughter is into it in another city. Is my, that right? My youngest daughter has finally decided to uh, take up uh, uh, and, uh, and train uh, to be an accountant. So good. she's going to college, so which, in, is, which is interesting. It's cause in my, the cause my, Because my kids said that they would never do what I do. Yeah. So that's exciting. Well, they probably see that you're happy doing it, and now oh, yeah. they want to do yeah. it. Well, great. Okay, so uh, if you're not happy, if you've outgrown your current situation, come, come to or us. at least get a second opinion. Come to us. We All want right. you to come to us. We want right. you to come in so we can Give you sit a down. And, uh, I think you're great. I mean, you've been handling my stuff for many years. Absolutely. And uh, I refer everyone to you. I try not to endorse the people I understand. on this show. I understand. And you didn't pay for this interview today. No, I, yeah. It's a real no. interview. Uh, I always like having you on the show because you are really wow. into it. Thank Very you. passionate. Guy. I mean, I don't really know what you're talking about, for the, you know, on all these tax things. <laughs> but I, but I believe you. I, okay. I, I think right. you're really right. a sincere guy. So. Well, you know, we want to be there for you Good. and take care of you. So right. you can be free to go out and pursue your career and uh, go on vacation and not have to think about things. Okay, good. I want to thanks again. Thanks again for coming on the show. Oh, You've been you. watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. This has been the Consumer Report Edition. If you want to see this interview again online, uh, you can go to our website and you can put a keyword, Stan Moreau's or Saving Taxes. For now, I wish you good help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.